Hey everybody, thanks so much for coming tonight. I can't wait to share with you some of my favorite, favorite Usborne books. Um, I'm gonna start with our nonfiction collection. We are the largest seller of children's nonfiction books and we have some great ones to choose from. The first I wanna talk about are our beginner's nonfiction. These are about our first or second grade reading level. What's great about these is that they come in a variety of different subject areas. They're $4.99 each and it's a hardcover book so it's really easy to take wherever you go. Um, the illustrations are fantastic, the pictures very informative, and you're able to either read it aloud or as kids become more comfortable, they're able to read and learn a lot of information in a very small, um, small and easy to travel book. So these are a couple of our beginners nonfiction books. Moving up from there, we have several encyclopedia books as well. And so this encyclopedia, what's great about it is that actually every page has great illustrations, lots of information, and it also has a QR code where if you have an app to scan a QR code, it can scan to an internet reference as well. So that's a way that you can combine printed text with what you're finding online as well. So I really like these encyclopedias and I think they'll be good to use on down the line. One of my other favorites is this flat book. It's called See Inside Planet Earth. There's also one on general knowledge and an atlas. Really fantastic illustrations and flaps so as kids read the questions, they can find the answers on the other side of the flaps. And then the last one I wanted to show you were these Shine a Light books that I briefly talked about before the party started. But what's great is I really love the illustrations and it kind of brings an element um, of nature to life or they also have a lot of technology ones as well. So this says, snow covers the land. What has made these tracks? And you're able to shine a light and see that it is a hair that snuggles up to keep warm. So lots of information within these pages and it has um, some great pictures to go along with it as well. The next thing I wanted to talk about are our activity books. Again, these are very intentional um, books with the questions that they allow you to do and the activities that they're asking the kids to do, which is great. So um, lots of fun things. These are mazes, flying saucers, where you're spotting the differences. Um, this is dominoes, where you're working out sequencing. And then even just doodling on the clouds. Um, so it's a fun thing to have in the car or as you're traveling. Um, to have something like this around, which is really nice, little boredom buster. This is one of my favorites, kind of like Where, Where's Waldo, but it's a very first book of things to spot. Um, it's made really, really well. Since this is a very first book, the pages are a little bit heavier and thicker. Um, and on each page, it has questions for parents to um, ask as they're going along. So this one says, find the red bug with three spots. So even early on, you're able to talk to them about counting. This says, which caterpillar is the longest? So talking to them about size and that type of thing. So this is one of our favorites at our house. And um, David and Scott both really like it and have started coming up with their own questions, which is fun. We also have lots of sticker books to choose from, and they're not just for girls either. So this is a sticker dressing um, book for heroes. So it has lots of heroes that you can dress up. And then there's also an alphabet sticker book, which is really, really interesting because as they are learning the alphabet, they're able to match letters with the first letter of the alphabet and then also work on their penmanship as well, which is really nice, kind of tracing those letters that they're learning. So a great supplemental thing. This is a white clean activity book that we have, and David really, really likes it. It helps with counting and writing. They kind of are working on their pen control. Um, this one, they're matching things that are similar, finding the differences, and then he was able to count and write his numbers here. Um, so they're able to combine learning um, with those fine motor skills without really realizing it. The next category that I wanted to talk about are picture books, which is my personal favorite. We have lots of these Osborne picture books. It's a 10 by 10 book. Um, hardcover for $9.99. We have Cinderella, Snow White, this is Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, they're beautifully illustrated and really fun classic stories that are easy to read kind of before bedtime. 
Another book that's a favorite around here is I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. It also has I'm a Dirty Dinosaur within the series of books. Um, it has a lot of rhyming words, a great cadence to the story, and really fun illustrations that the boys really enjoy. And then Nibbles is one of my favorite. It's called Nibbles the Book Monster. He is a monster that escapes and he wreaks havoc in all of these fairy tales. Um, so it's just a really cleverly done book. It kind of takes those classic fairy tales and shifts them around a little bit. I really like the illustrations and um, talking to the kids about those stories is really fun. This is an illustrated Grimm's Fairy Tales. We have a lot of combined volumes like this. They're a great way to have about a five to 10 minute story before bed and then not take up a ton of shelf space. But this is the Grimm's Fairy Tales because I obviously love fairy tales, but they also have adventure stories and illustrated classics. They have a lot within this series. We also have some great chapter books. This is called Anna Hibiscus and I Am Jack. I Am Jack in particular focuses on bullying. Um, he's called a name at school, so it just kind of talks about how he deals with that um, issue. Kane Miller is one of our publishers, and they do a great job of having very intentionally focused um, chapter books for kids and what they might be going through. The last group of books that I want to share with you are for our babies and young toddlers. Um, we have a whole series of books called the Touchy Feely Books. This is called That's Not My Meerkat, and it has a touchy-feely aspect to every page, which is really, really fun and engaging for the kids. This is the very first nursery rhyme book. Um, so these are great little nursery rhymes um, that every kid should know before they go into pre-K or kindergarten. Your teachers would be very happy if they already knew these little rhymes. Um, they also have a very first words and a very first colors that are great to add to any collection. Muddle and Match is also a really fun board book for a lot of different ages. Um, it has some alliteration and then you can change the pages um, with different pictures of people as you go from person to person. So my kids have a lot of fun with that. They think it's really silly. Um, a couple more that I wanted to share and then I'm done. Um, this is the Noisy Farm book. We don't have a ton of noisy books, but I do like this one because it has animals that you can talk about and then animal noises. Um, so it has, again, really well made book with tabs at the top as you go along. And you could combine it with um, Old MacDonald and that type of thing, but it's its own story in itself. So about how they're waking up the farm animals. And then the last one I wanted to share is um, the Lift the Flap Colors book. We also have a Lift the Flap Word book, which is great for sight words. Um, but this has colors and, again, great questions for parents to ask their kiddos. So it says, who's the gray one in the orange car? And you're able to point to the orange and then find the hippopotamus. So it has questions for parents to ask, and then you're able to kind of get a little bit deeper as well. And then it has some mixing questions as well. So this yellow and... Um, and blue and how it makes green. And so again, kind of takes the color, the normal color book to the next level with asking about the mixing and that type of thing. So um, again, I'm sorry I spoke so fast, but I just wanted to share with you some of my favorites. It's one of the most exciting things that I get to do. And I hope you found something that intrigued you as well. Talk to you soon.